Greg Beard here and welcome to my channel uh, if you do like this video please subscribe and hit the like button and smack that bell when you subscribe to make sure you get all the uh, notifications when I put up new content and uh, we're gonna put a belt on the uh, scooter I'm thinking this is the reason why I ain't been able to get up over the hills and this is a Gates brand PL 30504 748 by 18 by 28 is what fits the uh, Kimco 54T, uh, Agility 54T anyway. But anyhow, yeah, we're going to get back into this uh, torque convoy. To, or hopefully you can see. Yeah, it looks like it. I got my professional light. Anywho. Alright, let's see if she'll on. Yeah! Woo! Get that up in there. Yeah, I didn't show you me actually taking this off last time. We'll see if that'll come off and. I didn't think this thing would break these loose. I've seen these uh, reviewed and stuff before. And they didn't have that much, uh, they had tightening torque, but not loosening torque, if you not understand what I mean. Uh, it takes a little more to break a bolt loose than it does to tighten it. Yeah. It, it didn't want to do that one either. Of course, I haven't charged these batteries since the first time. So I can, I still got another battery I can actually swap to if this one doesn't do the trick. I'm trying to remember what I paid for this thing. I pinched my finger in the little trigger. That usually stays with that. I think it can actually come out. Yeah, yeah, you can take it out, but I just leave it in there. This one up here, I'll have to use my little ratchet to get it out. Hopefully, I'm not yelling too loud at you when this thing's running. So, two, four, this is six. Two, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. I already loosened that up. I don't know if I got it out all the way. I couldn't tell because it kind of holds itself in there where it's at. Let me snag my little ratchet. I can't remember. I think I used a short extension. And let me, uh, up. There we go. I almost thought I lost it. But anyhow, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Oh, no, I think I need the long one. Trying to do this as quickly as possible so it ain't that boring. I need to get me a little swivel adapter. There it is. Just gotta have it on the right way. I've seen, uh, I was watching some uh, other people's content on scooters and uh, I was looking at one as, uh, you know, just to make sure I knew how to get the belt from around this back pulley. And this one, uh, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully you can, but uh, this one, uh, it was an Agility 50. I don't know if it was a European model, you know, intended for the European market or what, but where this bolt's hard to get to, it actually had a little slot cut out of here. And I mean, you could tell 
if it wasn't factory, whoever did it made it nice and clean. And it was so you could slip the uh, ratchet through there and put the socket on there and you might even be able to get this little socket through there. I, I'm not sure. This should, should come off. Oh yeah, I gotta, now see I can take this off by hand usually. Yeah. Let me get my pliers. Yeah, the things you forget when you're trying to be prepared. There we go. Now, <coughs> come right off now. Cold steel. Bag on throat just gets itchy. There we go. Now. Okay. Oh, there went that bolt. No big. And uh talking about the variator. I'm not the variator, the bendix. See here's the bendix. It can come right out. Only thing holding it in is that the gear and here's my uh, uh, kit I'm trying to think hmm I'm trying to remember how I do this okay can't remember how many washers I used But anywho, you'll put the bolt through, and then put all the washers on. If I had a little welder, I could uh, tack these all together while they're on the bolt, so they stay in place. Remember, I think I might have to take a couple of these out, but I may, may be okay. Because I could swear I had just the right amount to hold the right height for, for these teeth to catch in gears, teeth, the gear teeth. Anywho. Sorry if this seems to be like a fumbling job here. <laughs> it kinda is. Especially with my, with my old butt doing it. Anywho. Yeah. Now that I've modified this thing to fit this scooter. It wakes like a chime. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. I think I might have too many. Too many washers in there. I thought I had just the right amount. I guess I was wrong. Let's take that out. Take one more. I can get just one more. Yeah. Now I need to take this one in. Strip it of a washer or two. I don't know why I would have had extra washers in there, but evidently I did. I will not this time. Yep. I <laughs> caught every one of them. Keep them together, but I am going to separate them from the the rest of the herd. That way, when I go to use this again. Uh, I won't have so many daggone washers with it and I'll have the right amount. And this won't happen again. Let's 
get in there. Yeah, she's lined up now. I think. It's catching them somewhat anyway. These holes go all the way through on some of these. Now this one it don't. I don't know how deep it goes, but it deep, goes deep enough for this uh, bolt. So I ain't bottomed out with it, and I can tighten it up to catch the, uh, are these eight millimeter too? No. I'm not sure, I'm gonna say 10. I know this might seem boring, but I'm not real good at editing. <laughs> and uh, once I get good at it, I can cut little bits out and make the video seem not as. boring and long but anyway that's there now let me get my 17 <coughs> I thought about using my impact could I got a new impact that I used on my wheels and whatnot just gotta find my uh, 17 socket 16 15. I may not have a 17 for this. Oh. No, those socks didn't come with that. That's fine. Nope, I don't have a 17 for that. But anyway. 17 for this. Alrighty. We're ready to take her off now. Yeah. <coughs> I didn't have an impact when I bought this little piece. I see people take them off with an impact. And all they do is grab that gear. I'd be afraid to do that, even with a glove on. Loosen that. And then tighten it back up to put it back on. <coughs> Hopefully I don't have too bad of a coffin fit. Um, it gets worse when I get hot. There we go. Should be loose enough to, yes. There's a washer, then a little pronged piece, then a little fan, and then the gear. And the thing about these belts <coughs> is that they stretch. And this one was a little damaged. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, oh. Right here. And that happened early on. If you watched one of my videos where I found a rat's nest in here, I'm thinking that's what caused that. And, uh, anywho, trying to mess with my camera, make sure you can see what I'm showing you, what I'm laying down. Yeah, getting this belt out is a kind of a pain. Should be able to squeeze this gear out a little bit. <clears throat> Dang. Yeah, this is going to be the pain. Is <sighs> if I can pinch it enough, 
without pinching my hands. Let me take this off so I don't damage it. I don't know what I just did here. There. Yeah. My little uh, cover gasket. And uh, yeah, these will stretch. Plus, they'll. You'll see. I'm gonna try to show you. See how it kind of looks glossy. That's. That's not supposed to be like that. And what it is. Some of these uh, belts, you know, they're, they're not created equal. And that's why I bought a, a name brand belt. I was looking at them, you get three of them for like a 20 bucks, you know. And this gate was uh, 40 bucks for one. And uh, I said, I don't want to gamble with the... Uh, you know, my drive belt. I'll keep the old one for a spare in case anything happens because it's not, you know, completely uh, chewed up. <clears throat> but yeah, I see a lot of people take their gear off of this back pulley, I mean. But you can squeeze this out just enough to get it through. It's got, it's got some, some spring tension to it. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> we got it started. Ooh, this, this is gonna be a bugger. So I don't want to have to take that off because I'm a novice. Jay, yeah, you can squeeze this gear out, but you're fighting the springs. Just about got it. I don't know why the top came out. There we go. Whew. She's a booger. I'm hoping I didn't take too long doing this. Now it's right where I need to squeeze the belt. I mean the uh, gear. Hmm. This top part keeps wanting to try to come out. Got that out of the way. All right. Now if I can just squeeze it enough to... Uh, I got it. Whew. Yeah. Oh, the top part again. I don't understand why that. Oh, there we go. Yes. It is in. Whew. That was a battle. I can't even get it over it. Do we hickey? But this is the supposed to be the size. to uh, squeeze it now. I need to get it over this though. Yeah, it's a booger. Huh. Yeah, where that other belt was up in there. See, it, it wears on the sides too, so this is probably not as wide now, you know, it's been more. And that's probably why it won't go up in hills. And uh, this one doesn't sink down into that pulley much. It's a freaking booger. See if I can get my other hand back here to grab the pulley to pinch it. I could uh, hopefully get it in there so. Let's use some brute force. Huh? Yes. <sighs> yeah, see, you can. That's the Bendix. And that's what I was wondering if there was something wrong with it. But it seems to function just fine. 
But yeah, it just has a little pin. And uh, there's a little gear up here that catches these teeth. And that's what uh, drives it when you start it. The start, that's, the, that's the starter gear, that little tiny, I don't know if you can see it. That little tiny gear up next to that Bendix. That's the starter gear. But yeah, make sure you can see what I can see and what I'm trying to show you. Uh, yeah, it pull this pulley out now, so you don't have to worry about that. Anywho, now to put it back together. Get that, all this back on there. This gear has to go into the splines on the uh, the drive gear, you know, the, where the pulley is. The, I guess you'd call it a drive shaft. I don't know. Anywho. Uh, like I say, always make sure you have uh, everything in the same order as you took it off. And uh, tighten that back down. So we can put the gear back on. I just wish it would have fit right off the bat. I wouldn't have lost a fingernail. Uh, and have if you didn't watch me uh, on the video of my uh, when I changed out the roller boss in there, yeah, I busted my fingernail quite good. Yeah, look for that uh, roller boss video where I changed it out. You see how I can move this? That's what you want. You want it like that, and then you can torque it, torque the gear down. So, it's a little tight now. Let me make sure that. Yes, you can still do it. Don't want to bind that up because you can mess up a belt before you even take off the very next time. That should be good and tight. <coughs> yeah. I'll go ahead and clean this up after the video, and uh, but I wanted to give you all the gist of it. Yeah, I got you almost, uh, it's over 23 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, hope you liked the video and thanks for coming. And if you got this far, definitely thank you. Because most people just watch a few minutes of it and turn away. I'd say five to 10% max of my viewers actually watch the whole video. And I know these, are, these can be boring. But if you want to own your own scooter and work on it, this will help you, you know, if you haven't messed with it before. Get the courage to get in there and do it. Most scooters aren't exactly the same, but pretty much, you know, about 90% uh, the same. There's little differences here and there. Like I say, this, this belt ain't totally shot. Like I say, you can see them little teeth there. Like I say, that happened early on. And like I say, I bought a Gates belt. And there it is again if you want to get the number and the size. 748 by 18 by 28. That's the size for the uh, Kimco 50, Agility 50 4T. I don't know if the 2T takes the same belt or not. Uh, I don't know one, so I don't, didn't really look that up. You can always tell us where the front gear was, where it's been setting. Yeah, this, this can work as an emergency belt, and that belt should last. Uh, like I say, that, that model number, if you get the regular Gates belt, it'll be 20504. And this is the Kevlar reinforced that I just put on there. 
uh, it's 30504. So the 20504 will be a little cheaper, but in most cases that I've seen, not by much. Uh, it, it's worth it to get that because this is better for, especially if you're want, souping up your scooter and giving it more power. This is more durable than the regular one. And the regular one is still more durable than say this one here that came factory. I've heard the uh, Kimco scooters don't get the best belts. Not that they're ter terrible, but just not that great. Look how glossy it looks. If you can see it, I'm trying to move it in the light. Yeah, you should be able to see it. But uh, yeah, that, that can cause slippage. Plus the stretch can call, uh, hurt your top end speed. Because if it stretches out more, it's not going to come out as far on the uh, pulley. It'll, it, it, it'll like, I don't know, hang loose, you know. <laughs> but yeah, a new belt. We should be able to get over the hills now. And hopefully, yeah, I was noticing the top the top end was a little bit uh, less. Like going down a straight flat road, I wasn't getting up to... When I first changed out that roller boss, I was doing 37 going down a straight on, on a flat, doing 37. Well, the last few times I rode it, I couldn't get it up there. 34, 35, if I'm lucky. So this is supposed to, I've actually heard that this will improve your top end over a factory belt to start with. I don't know if it's just a little thicker or whatever that gets it out there further on the belt or what, but Gates belts are supposed to be really good. I paid 40 bucks for this one and I've seen people charging as much as 100 for that belt. I do a lot of shopping. I mean, shop, shop, shop. I mean, like research and looking for the best deal. And that was the best deal I could get. It was on Amazon. Uh, if you need the link, just holler at me and I'll put it up for you. The very one that I bought. And uh, I think it was Amazon. It was either Amazon or eBay, but I believe it was on Amazon. But anyways, I babbled for long enough. We're over 27 minutes. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like. If not, lie to me. Hit it anyway. <laughs> and uh, comment. Any interaction on these videos helps. Whether you're bad talking me or talking me up, it doesn't matter. Any interactions on these videos, if you like it, share it, subscribe, comment. Every little interaction helps. And I would greatly appreciate it if you did. And, uh, and it don't cost you a dime. Anyways, yeah, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, and click all videos if you want to get real interested in it, and uh, share it to everybody. Thank you.